I've wow. never seen such craziness. You know, we're headed down a very slippery, dangerous slope right now. Who's going to lead America? What if they succeed in destroying our present president? Who's, who's going to take over? Who's, you know, maybe the vice president. I, I think they'll try to indict both of them if they, if they get to that point. I think they want that. They hate, 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 hate the vice president. Well, sure. Is that right? Am I right when I say that? Oh, absolutely. The, the enemy hates the vice president. Absolutely. And why, do you yeah. think? Because he's a Christian? Yeah. Yes, you said yes. Yes. Yeah, they hate him because he is a Christian, and he has, he has stood for uh, Judeo-Christian values, and, and going all the way back to when he was in the house. Christianity not just he is in governor. danger. Yeah, Christianity of being wiped out in this country. Mm -hmm. What wow. do you think would have happened if Trump hadn't been elected? What, do you, what? Uh, we were we were done. Four years of Hillary Clinton, we were done. Pastor Jim, I got to tell you, I, first of all, I believed, as you did, that Trump was going to win. So I never really stayed awake at night about it. But I knew that it was going to be a miracle. But that said, if we had if we'd elected Hillary Clinton, uh, this country would have been over with. That Supreme Court nomination, first of all, of Neil Gorsuch, yes. uh, would have been an uber-liberal Supreme Court justice. It would have changed the landscape for 30 years here. That's right. Mm. And, but you and I talked about this earlier. It's important for people to understand that this is not just a bunch of college students booing uh, the Secretary of Education. It's not a, a bunch of Black Lives Matter people gathering somewhere and protesting and smashing windows. It's not about a bunch of people standing uh, at, at, out in front of Trump Towers and and. Pro this is about global governance. It's about global Marxism. Somebody tried to burn down one of the Trump hotels That's right. last week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Two fires in it. That's mm -hmm. right. right. And this is being motivated and supported and pushed by a global governance movement, and it's called Marxism. Mm -hmm. So when you said Christianity is, is in deep trouble, it is, and we could go on for the next three hours and talk about the things that we're seeing happen in that. But yeah. remember that Karl Marx said, my objective is to dethrone God and to destroy capitalism. Mm. And he said, religion is the opiate of the masses. Mm. He was an atheist. You cannot have a global Marxist government and allow Christianity to survive. That's why every time you've had a Marxist communist nation, they've, they've declared that they are officially atheist because that's what Karl Marx laid out in the Communist Manifesto. Mm -hmm. right. And that's why you see such an assault on Christianity yeah. is because you can't have people believing that their rights come from a sovereign God. Mm -hmm. You have to believe that your rights come from the government, from the, the wealthy elite. Yeah. And that's what we're seeing. There, that's what's behind it. Ford Foundation, George Soros, Rockefeller Foundation, big money going into organizing and supporting these events that we're seeing occur today. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's about ultimately is global Marxism and you global know, When government. you see the people about that last marching time. in the streets mm -hmm. and they're all carrying the same sign mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. printed nicely, you know those people just, just sitting in their kitchen saying, Let's go march, you know, and they <laughs> scribble up a sign usually yeah. if they're going to go out or something. This is all planned, people. Absolutely. This is a planned destruction yes. of the government of the United States of America, of our president who was duly elected. That's right. And who's taking stands for things that the conservative people wanted and voted for. Enough people voted that he is our president legally. Right. So they're trying to say somehow Russia. My God, forgive me, but that was that sounds like back in the fifties or sixties when I was a little boy when they were they blamed everything on the communists, yeah. everything on Russia, and now we're blaming uh, the 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 fall of America or the problem of America or the problem with Trump on on tr Russia. Come on, people, are we not smarter than that? Are we not smart enough to see what's going on?